Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your iOS screen on your Mac. This will work with your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Let's get started. Now what you're going to need for this to work is very simple. You're going to need an iOS device, whether it's an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. You're going to need your lightning cable and then finally you're going to need a Mac running at least OS 10 Yosemite. Once you've ensured you have everything, go ahead and plug the USB end of the lightning cable to the Mac and the other end to your iOS device. Now that we have everything set up, we can go ahead and open up our launch pad on our Mac. And what we're going to want to do is go to the other section and then click on the QuickTime player. Now from here, we're going to go to the top where it says file and we're going to click on a new movie recording. Now when it first opens up, it's going to open up your FaceTime camera. So what you want to do is navigate to this little arrow here and select your iPhone or whatever you've called your iOS device. In my case, it's called Daniel's iPhone. So we'll click on that and it'll go ahead and take us to our screen on our iPhone. Now you can see that we can unlock the phone, we can swipe across, we can open up applications, we can close them. We can do pretty much anything we wanted and it's just going to mirror over to our computers. Now just to give you a better look at this, I'm just going to go ahead and use my iPhone in my right hand and obviously everything you're seeing on the screen is happening live, but there is a split second of lag. You can open up and use any applications you like just like normal. With that being said, to actually record, all you have to do is click on this record button with your cursor and it'll begin recording. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And you can actually see the parallax effect happening on screen. But anyway, if we just move around a little bit, go through a few things here, we'll hit stop. Now we can hit play to see what we recorded. And you'll see that there is the parallax effect we did at the beginning. And then I swiped across a few times as well. And that's the recording. Once you've completed your recording, you can go ahead and hit file, save your recording wherever you'd like. And now you've recorded your iOS screen to your Mac. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram for updates. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box, and I'll see you guys in the next one.